Audio Assalamu alaikum. Hello, all my dear students. How are you today? Fine, nice. I hope so. Summary on Great Expectations, written by Charles Dickens. Pep, Philip Pep, narrates the tale from an unspecified time in the future. He grows up in the marshlands of Kent, where he lives with his disagreeable sister and her sweet-natured husband, the blacksmith Joe Gregory. While visiting his family members' graves in the churchyard, the young Pep encounters Abel Magwitch and on escape the combat. Pep brings him food and a file, but the fugitive and the comparison his former partner in crime and the supposed gentleman who is now his enemy are soon caught. Later, Pip is requested to pay visits to Miss Havisham, a woman driven half mad years earlier by her lover's departure on their wedding day. Living with Miss Havisham at Sats house is her adopted daughter Stella. Home she is teaching to torment men with her beauty. Pep at first cautions, later falls in love with Stella, who does not return his affection. He grows increasing ashamed of his humble background and hopes to become a gentleman, in part to win over Stella. However, he is disappointed when he instead becomes Joe's apprentice. Several years later, a lawyer named Mr. Jaggers appears and informs Pip that an anonymous benefactor has made it possible for him to go to London for an education. Pip believes that the money is from Miss Havisham, who does not dissuade him of the, of the notion. Once in London, Pip is to, to be a gentleman by Matthew Pocket and his son Herbert, the latter of whom Pep met years earlier at Satis house. Also receiving instruction is the slow-witted and unlikable Bentley Drummond, the increasingly snobbish. The increasingly snobbish Pep is later horrified to discover that his mysterious benefactor is Magwitch. Not only is Magwitch in danger of being arrested, Pep's social standing is threatened. Pep reveals the situation to Herbert and it is decided that Magwitch and Pep should, should leave England. Before departing, Pep visits Satis house, where he confronts Miss Havisham for letting him believe she was her, his, his patron. He also professes his love to Stella, who rejects him, knowing that Dromil is pursuing her. Pip warns her about him, but she announces that she plans to marry him. Pip subsequently makes several startling discoveries, notably that Magwitch is Stella's father and that Campison was Miss Havisham's lover. He also grows close to Magwitch, whom he comes to respect. As Pep and the Magwitch attempt to leave London via a boat, the police and the comparison arrive. The two com uh, convicts end, end up fighting in the teams, um, and only Magwitch surfaces. Comparison's body is later uh, recovered. The injured Magwitch is arrested, convicted, and dies awaiting execution. A despondent Pep is arrested because of his debts, but his failing health 
preventing him from being jailed. That's all my dear students. I have now come to the end of my presentation. I have now come to the end of my video. Please study hard, do your best. Thank you for listening and watching. Assalamu alaikum.